Hey guys, it's Mike. It's Rowena. Let's talk about space travel. This, these past couple days has been monumental and history making in the quest of, for mankind to live among the stars. SpaceX and uh, Elon Musk, he's, he's been trying to do this for a long time. Yeah. What he's been trying to do is reuse rockets, which has never been done. Now, the reason why space travel takes so long and costs so much is because when they fire the rocket into space, everything just blows up. They have to rebuild. Yeah. And Elon Musk, obviously, he met a lot of hurdles. He had a rocket that blew up last year. So this is the first time a rocket went into space, came back down, landed. Landed perfectly. 10 out of 10. Yeah, and Bezos is trying to do something like this too. Bezos' company, he actually hasn't landed rockets before, but the rocket never went to space and then yeah. landed, so he's kind it's of- It's never cool. actually orbited, like right. got into orbit. This is really paving the way to something really exciting, right? Yeah. So space travel is obviously, that's, that's the thing coming up. Um, but then my question is, would you pay like, let's say $100,000 to fly up into space? Would you do it? If I had the money, I would love to go see what space is like. Okay, here's the thing though, <laughs> here's the thing. It's not like riding a Greyhound bus. I know, it's you know like, a, like years of dedication and commitment. Well, no, I'm just saying it's, it's let's say you just want to go go orbit around the moon. Yeah. It's not like riding in your luxury Mercedes. You're paying yeah. $100,000 to experience what, like, you know, G-force splattering your yeah. face. Like, have you ever, ever been to uh, Six Flags? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you ever rode a, rode a ride called King, uh, King Da Ka. Probably. Okay, it's in Jersey. All the, oh no, not. It's I, in Jersey, and it's the tallest, fastest roller coaster in the world. If you sit in the front row, right, it goes from zero to like uh, 130 miles an hour or something like that in like two seconds. Yeah. And your face is just like, rah, 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 rah. And you can't even close your eyes. Your eyelids are like, rah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and if you're flying in a rocket, it's like it's crazy. It's not a smooth. Yeah, ride. I mean, I know there's a lot of preparation that will have to go yeah. into it, but I think personally, it'll mm -hmm. be really. To go into Fulfilling, space? Fulfilling, yeah. To be like, hey, I've been to space. Like, I would put in all that work yeah. and experience all of that with my face to be able to see Earth from for space. For $200,000. If I had the money. If, let's say, I just, like, was rolling in cash, no problem. Well, if you're rolling in <laughs> cash, do you really want to risk flying into space? Don't you want to, like, don't you want to wait till that process is pretty safe? Do you really want to be the beta oh, maybe, trial maybe people? maybe in the future, yeah. I don't think I want to be a beta. I mean, there are a lot of no, celebrities. No, I, I would not be a beta. Right. Yeah. There are a lot of celebrities who are signed up already, yeah. like Ashton Kutcher, like, a lot of them, they're, they're paying the money. And this is really going to become a reality. Probably this year or next year, this is yeah. happening. This is really happening. Yeah. Now the cost of going out of space is so cheap. Yeah. This is revolutionary. I mean... For travel, first of all, and then for the, uh, the cost of satellite, putting satellites up there, it's probably more people putting satellites up there. More people are able to like have a colony on the moon yeah. because you can just take a rocket. Because it's it's like a space. I don't, here's, here's what I don't understand about space travel, what I really do not understand. We're talking about colonizing Mars. Yeah. We're talking about even, there has been talks about colonizing the moon. Yeah. Okay. I understand if we're trying to go go to Alpha Centauri and find a habitable planet mm -hmm. that has oxygen and yeah. water and strange species that could potentially kill us. We don't know yet. But I understand that. We find a new Earth because Earth, we're destroying it. Yeah. We're killing it slowly. Let's go find a new place and, and kill that. I get that. Yeah. But what is the point of going to Mars and living? It's not like you can breathe on Mars. No. You, you just, you're living there in a, in a capsule, essentially. So what is the point of that? I, mean, I think they're doing research now to, to to dig into the soils and to check and see if Earth, is, I mean Mars, is habitable. Yeah. And I think they can potentially start building things there or seeing if they can plant actual and maybe food convert and, the atmosphere. Yeah, and like change the. <sighs> so I don't really, you know, okay. Why would you want to live on the moon? What you live on the moon for? I think from for the view, like a spiritual fulfillment and environmental fulfilling. Well, look for that legendary of... <laughs> bunny. Like, what are you looking for? No, like it's good that I I would stand behind anyone who's dreaming of doing something like this, and if it can happen, I think that's awesome. And it's if people want to do it, the ones who will go, they will go. No, I understand. <laughs> I, look, I don't know how many people have, was was little kid and was like, my dream is to go live on the moon. Yeah. Like, I don't know. If you are, then great, that's great. But I don't personally understand. The only thing I can kind of uh, compare it to would be, let's say you, you, you want to choose a place to live, either on Manhattan side or in Jersey, <laughs> okay? Or in Jersey, and in this case, the moon is Jersey. And you want to live in Jersey because you get the view of Manhattan, which yeah. is pretty. Yeah. But you know, that's the only thing. Yeah. Like why else would you want to live there? 
But anyway, getting really off topic, but really humongous occasion. Congratulations, Elon, my buddy Elon. No, I don't know him at all. Uh, <laughs> I would but, love to meet him. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And he should pay for dinner. Yeah. But I, I would love to see, I'm, I'm excited to see what this brings next year in, yeah. in terms of space, space travel. I don't think I'll ever go, but I would like to see it. Let us know if you would, if you had the money, would you go travel around in space? Join and, me. Like, Don't. Why would you? Why would you even do it? Like hundred thousand dollars, you just like your face is flapping everywhere. You you get to see Earth for like what an hour? Yeah, you but know? you know the 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 syndrome that people like astronauts when they see yeah. Earth from afar. I forgot what it's called, but there's an actual term for it. Uh -huh. It makes them appreciate life so much really? more because they realize we're just this insignificant blue green ball in this well, vast universe. What if you go on Google Earth? Right now. I think it's different, Mike. And imagine turn the okay. lights off in the room. <laughs> and pretend no, that's a window. Imagine watching what's that movie with um uh the space movie. There's, George Clooney there's and there's a lot of space no, movies. No 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 George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. Sa yeah, that movie. Yeah. Uh was it Gravity. Called? Gravity, yeah. So remember when she's freaking out yeah. in the foreground and in the background you see the Aurora Borealis and yeah. like the tip of the earth? Yeah. Just imagine seeing that from space. Okay, I get you. Let's let's go to the room, <laughs> our studio, let's Crank up Google Earth. Let's sit there and pretend. Let's pretend. Let's pretend. And then see if you feel anything. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you do. <laughs> but uh, let us know if you want to join her in space. Thanks for watching.